Hello and welcome. Are you looking for a little 1v1 time? Need to polish up on some of your skills? Or are you in the mood for a good old fashioned game of cat and mouse? If any of that sounds exciting to you, keep watching because in this video, you will be learning how to create your very own 1v1 game mode. You will see how even small modifications can really change the gameplay and help you build a unique and exciting 1v1 map that will be the envy of all. As you probably guessed by the name, this game type has two players fighting against each other until only one remains. The two players spawn into the arena and face off against each other. The goal is to win by eliminating the other player the maximum number of times. The default settings of any template island will work for a 1v1. You will need two spawn pads named Team 1 and Team 2 to control each player's starting point. Be sure to play around with your match settings as well. You'll probably want to know who won and lost each game. To do so, you must go to your settings menu, select My Island, choose UI, and click Round Win Conditions. From here, you would pick Eliminations. This way, if you can't tell who won, now you'll be able to, because it's on the screen. Another thing to keep in mind as you build your arena is if you're using a barrier. You need your barrier setting on Box Hollow. Players can't move around if you have it set to just box. Building a fun 1v1 elimination island depends on a few key factors. One, how diabolical you're feeling when you lay out your game. And two, the gameplay settings you select. For example, you could design your map with difficult terrain that leads players to choke points, forcing them into battle. Or maybe you want to design your map around a large central area with minimal obstacles, so they must work on their combat skills, building abilities, and aim. Or if you're sick of dodging those pesky bullets, Let's take a look at how you can create an island that relies on close combat. Set melee as your combat type. Make sure to allow building and let the fun begin. Players must build toward each other to be close enough to fight. You can also enforce the need to build solid structures and escape routes by adding traps to the ground so that they will be eliminated if they fall. By creating your island in this way, the players focus on improving their muscle memory with building, so it becomes second nature. You can also design your 1v1 game mode to focus on letting the players improve their combat skills. To do so, you need to disable their ability to build. You can do that here in Structure Damage. Fun fact, if you don't want players to destroy public property, you can set that option here as well. Designing the arena with minimal obstacles but enough to allow them to dodge in and out of cover will help improve their aiming abilities. Think about the combat you want in your game. You could create a larger arena with sniper rifles as the only weapon type by carefully placing some buildings so that players can sharpen their long-range skills. It's your island. You can do what you want, but try to make it good and also not weird.